Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we are on Not Fragile's account and you guys probably know this account if you guys watched my account reviews because we already did a review on this account and the owner got back to me saying that he actually wants to get help and purchase the arena improvement services. So we're going to be changing his arena defense that you see right now and we're also going to be making him one arena offense. I think in this one, I am going to be utilizing the Carnal and the Tianlang. Why wouldn't you, right? It's a great unit. I'll be using those in defense, but for offense, he does not have a Leo. So I'm going to show you guys how to build a second turn team without Leo on this account. <laughs> Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoner's War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. This is his account and we did see that this account did reach G3 in a certain point of his account life but these days he's either not rushing or he's not getting that much success with his defense let's try to improve that for defense I did see a few units that I want to use and it does include the Carnal Tianling but I think the third unit will be a second stripper and then the fourth unit needs to be either a damage dealer with some some sustain or like a nana because i did see a nana so let's get right into that and his ao is going to consist of the delphoi galleon but then it'll be two dds two damage dealers at the end so let's start with the arena defense first i already brought out the units so we are going to be using the carnal tianling and the clara because i don't think he had another fast stripper that was really good. And Clara is actually a really good second stripper because she always uses skill 3 if she's full health. We didn't see a Triton or anything like that. And we also didn't see like a LD, LD stripper, an LD AoE stripper. I mean, we can use the Chun Li. I'm pretty sure he has one because everybody built one. But uh, I think I'll go with the Clara. And then the last unit I'm debating. I actually want to really use either the Nana or the Ritesh and I think I'm going to go with the Ritesh. We're missing a water and wind unit in the defense. In the water one, if we do use one, it'll be either for the second second stripper or for the last spot, but there is no second stripper here. The second stripper can be real. It can be real. I mean, if you put him on despair, he'll also strip stun, but then the the strip is not as consistent as Clara. I think the Ritesh is actually very good because he buffs and defense breaks. He buffs defense and puts defense break. And the defense buff actually is really strong against second turn teams as, as well. So it will truly block all second turn teams. And I think that's really important. Let's do Ritesh. And if he doesn't like it, he could always switch it up with the, the Nana if he wants to. But Nana got a lot weaker with the nerf. And also Linda kind of destroys Nana as well. So let's just go with the Ritesh and see how that does. So let's start with this arena defense first and we're gonna start with the Clara. And the reason why we're starting for, with the Clara is we have to determine if he, she's gonna be on the will set or if she's not going to be on the will set. Okay, so this is Clara on 290 speed on Swift Broken. We could make him faster or we, we could make her faster, but these runes here, were being used were like a violent rune and also a rune that was a attack main stat and I didn't want that because we're already using this as an attack main stat so she'll just be too squishy so we had to kill her speed by like 5 and just use her like this for now the good thing is that they're not going to come in with like a Tiana or a Bernard to boost up because the Tian Lang is there yes there are people that still cut out speed and you bring in those boosters because they're just that fast and that will speed soon, but most people at least that's in C3 or below won't be able to do that. Accuracy is 50%, which I think is enough, but this artifact here gives him gives her 18 more percent, so that's good. And yeah, the Clara's done. Now let's move on to the Tian Lang. But the Tian Lang we're not gonna change because this was actually the fastest set on Despair. Violet might be good too, 
but I do like to despair the additional stun uh, that could wreck their turn order. I think that's important. So we're just gonna leave the, the tailing like this. All of his runes are already all powered up, other than this one, where he needs a grind. Looking at the artifacts, it's more crit damage. I don't like that. So let's see if we can find a better one there. It's also a pretty good one, right? Because these are additional damage stuff where the Skogul won't be using. Accuracy plus 8%. Okay, let's take that one. With that, he has 40k HP. A little low on the defense side, but I think it'll work. I did like that his fastest despair set is on him. So we're done with the two units. And then we'll now go with the Ritesh. Because Ritesh needs to actually move next. And then put in the defense break before the Karno puts in the big damage. So let's do that. Ritesh. And we actually want to make it pretty fast. So I am going to be using some of his runes. Some of his fast runes. We're going to put him on Violent Revenge. Let's see what we could do. Okay, so this is Ritesh on 230 speed. And I want him this fast because I want him to at least have a chance to go right after the tail lane. And although his HP does seem a little low, right? It's 43k. But with the 44 lead, HP lead, he should have close to 50k. Finally, let's work on the Carnal. Or um, M. Bison, sorry. And we'll make sure that he's on Violent Will. Not a despair set. Oh, so this one was the one with the despair set. We're not doing that. No. And we we're going to make him less than 230 speed. So 225 to 230 maybe. So that we make sure that he moves. Okay, and this is the M. Bison on 228 speed. As you can see, it's slightly slower than the Ritesh. You can see we gave it 55% accuracy. And we got more additional damage on certain stats from the artifacts. So I'm hoping that this works. He's pretty tanky with a lot of defense as well. Let's just put this new defense up. Let's see how it goes. So we have the Claw going first, the Tian Ling going second, the Ritesh going third, and finally the M. Bison. Can we test this? Well, we know this is not going to work, but let's just see the turn order and hope that everything moves as accordingly. We should be moving first. Yep, we do this, and then the Tian Ling cuts. There you go, the stun comes in, there you go. Oh, he derped. Okay, that was a derp, but that's fine. There's the trick of wind. Yep. <laughs> Looks good to me. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. I think it'll work a lot better. It'll definitely be getting more wins in F3 for sure. And I think it's even enough for you to hold C1, C2. And anything higher than that will depend on your arena offense rush. Let's go into his offense, which I know is going to start with the Delpho going first, the Galleon going second, and then the Xeros going third. Well, the, yeah, Xeros going third and then the Poseidon going or the Christina going. Stina, let's do this guys. This is gonna be fun. I like this and the one you have to work on first is the Delphoid because depending on your cleanser speed You have to make sure Everybody is one or only one or two speed apart from her So what I want to do is put them around the 90 speed range 80 90 speed range Well, violent is the best way to go now. I think Due to the fact that the buff with her skill 2 is really strong and we'll have to put her on 100 rest because it's really important that she does not get uh, strip stunned. Okay, so this is Delphoi on a Violent Will set. I didn't finish powering this Will set, Will Rune Up, because we are getting low on mana. I think we have 10 mil left and we still have 4 units to Rune Up. So I just stopped there. I didn't fully power these artifacts up, but we did get this awesome skill to accuracy. 23% from this artifact. I rolled it and thankfully it went to that. I was hoping for some rolls into the recovery but going all into that skill to accuracy is great because that makes this over 60% and now with the oblivion and reset is skill 2 is just much better, right? So we're done with the Velfoy. We're done with... We're not done with the Galleon. Now we have to go on the Galleon and we have to make him 180 speed. She's 183 but for the... For the tuning, it says that I just have to give the Galleon 180 speed. I did try to put him on a fight set, so fight shield will. Okay, so this is Galleon on 180 speed, and you can see that we got the accuracy, we got the tankiness, but all, all the runes are now powered up, or most of them. So we are done with the supporting units, so that's 183 and then 180. And now the first unit that we want as a damage dealer is the Xeros. So 
we want at least 100k EHP with 181, sorry, yeah, 181 speed. So let's see if we could do that. And there are a couple ways you could build the Zeros. You could go for the full damage or you could even go for like a despair. We are going to try and get a lot of accuracy because we do want the, we do want the pushback. Okay, so this is Zeros. He is pretty tanky, right? Because we gave him a HP slot. 6 speed crit damage HP he has 100 crit rate he has 40% accuracy but we are getting 13% more from this this was on Sierra where skill 3 accuracy isn't really helping her so I think you should farm a lot of artifacts because that's where you're lacking the most um, overall the runes are all grinded um, I did have to take an artifact from China hope that's okay because this one had the attack up effect plus some other stuff that were pretty good actually no this is very bad because we don't want that speed loss effect. She will act, he will actually then outspeed the galleon, which is really really bad. Let's just take it from Okay, I guess we just take it from the Tessarion. Okay, but that was Zeros, and now let's do the Christina and the Poseidon. Both will be on let's see the speed. They both have to be on 179 speed. Let's look at the Christina. Let's see if we, if we could do a vampire set cuz I do like Christina on Vampire, but if it doesn't work, then we'll just move. We'll just give her a different set if you can't get her hitting hard enough. But I do think it's possible. Okay, so this is Christina on a Vampire Will set, high crit rate, a lot of damage, and we. I know we have the effective HP because look at that defense. The artifacts is getting more skill for crit damage, additional damage here and there, less crit damage taken so that she survives easier. Here, attack up effect is really the only thing that's really helping, but okay, that's good enough. Finally, let's work on the Poseidon, another despair set that's gonna be around that's gonna be at 179 speed, around 40% accuracy, because we didn't want to kill too much attack for the accuracy, and with high crit rate as well. So this is Poseidon on Despair Will, uh, with more attack up effect, doing some more damage here and there. Um, exactly on the 179 speed. We got the 40% accuracy. Now, let's just test them all out. We can't do it here, because they have will. We can only go into things that don't have will, guys, okay? Only things that don't have will. Ooh, this one's a little tricky. But we do have reset. And Praha might not use skill 2. We should be slower than them. This is also a slow defense, right? But we should be slower. Okay, just no slow, no slow please. Okay, that's good. Oh, we don't get five stacks. They're actually not that slow. Reset. Okay, we reset. We didn't get the five stacks. This is bad. Right, we didn't get five stacks. Let's see how much damage you do though. 51k still. Okay, no defense break, 14k. Okay, it's actually going really well, actually. I think we have to kill this guy. Right, we kill. Cool. It's okay. He just doesn't have to proc one more time. Easy. Easy. Well, it's. I mean, this is F three. <laughs> Let's go against this defense. Pretty common, right? Again, not that much threat. I don't think the the Christina will die. That's fine. Just please, just miss. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Okay, slow on the, slow on the Christina is fine, guys, because she's gonna move last anyways. Just hope that Juno doesn't, doesn't lap. Oh, she countered just bad. Okay, okay, she used her strip, so that's good. So let's crit. Oh, we didn't crit. Oh, we did. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Look at those. Beautiful numbers right there. Easy win. Oh, he survived? What? I was so wrong. Oh, what? Why did he die? Oh my goodness, that scared me. That was close, guys. Oh, the stun. Prolonging the game. Oh, these, these, these counters, man. Oh my goodness. Nasty counters, nasty counters. What's the point? What is the point? You might be able to do this one though. There's no strip. So let's take it into this one. Okay. 
All good, all good. Dude, that full strip that's coming in from the aerial. What the heck? Wow, the Savannah doesn't move? Reset the aerial, please. Okay, we got these. Reset. Everybody's dead. <laughs> that's not fun. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Wow, that area is actually too squishy. Okay, here let's try it with this, but it's very risky because they do have a Tassar, the deal that could hit anybody. Dang it, he actually uses that. He actually, oh my goodness, oh no, oh, oh, increase, <gasps> and they lap. Wow, that was nasty actually. Okay, let's push them back. Stun? Okay, we got a stun. We need a proc? No proc. But it's okay, we still have the reset from the Xeros cleanup. Oh, no cleanup. Don't proc. Oh, shoot. But we should clean up here. Nice. That was risky, though. This one's actually okay. Let's try it. They will move first. But the chunk point defense isn't that great. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's fine. We survived that. Okay. Ooh, the the lap. You see that? That's what happens when they're too fast. So you if you want to, you can up the speed for this entire team to like a hundred if you want. We should Okay, and then kill everybody. He, this Chunk Punk took a turn, I don't know why. Maybe he's on like a Nemesis set or he has artifacts that give him more speed as his HP goes down. Because we're only one speed apart. Okay, we're C1. We're C1. We could we should be able to go against these as well. So like these are the these are the defenses that I really want to hit with the second turn team. They just have Abelio as their healer. But because we're going second turn, Abelio is gonna move anyways. See look. That's fine. We have five stacks. Abelio is gonna not move. Okay, so that's fine. Abelio should move. Uh, Abelio. I'm gonna do this. Abelio. Thank you, Abelio. Oh, I get a new proc out. Wow. Okay. We should all move because we're if we we only one speed away. Yes, thank you. And then we just kill. Maybe you do want to make everybody slightly faster because. They have a chance to lap, even with 80. Two years ago, 80 was enough, but I guess the room quality of everybody went up. So maybe now 80 is just too slow. I think we should have won that. I'm pretty sure we should have gotten the reset on the aerial. Cause we have a lot of, dude, that strip. How is he getting that strip all the time? And how, why is he moving to, I have to use it. Cause Cardinal's gonna still has skill three. Oh, this is good. Dude, you pissed me off. Okay, we got it. We got it this time. Thank you. Holy moly. Wow. See, if that happens, they're done. They can't win. They can't win. Okay. Oh, wait. This guy scares the crap out of me. Holy moly. Scares the crap out of me, guys. And I will still take the take the Christina because Christina does bigger damage. I don't like Juno in this case. Juno tends to derp too many times actually with only two skills. Okay. Oh, but with the with the boost that she got, she actually gets to take another turn. She's probably like 270 or something. Oh, well, actually she has this buff as well, the speed lead from the Samath. Reset. Dang it, he cleansed. That's nasty. Don't proc. Oh, we got the Oblivion. Oh, I mean, we don't even need the Oblivion, I think. Yeah, everybody's dead. Cool. Cool, cool. Just remember, you can't go into defenses that have will, okay? You could go into defenses like this, but they might lap because their busted is really fast and they have a 33 lead. And another boost from Charlotte, but they have no strip, so let's see if it could withstand this damage. Okay, she, she derped. Oh, she hits really hard. Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, the Xeros died. We were so close on surviving, though. 
Do you think we could do it? I think we could do it. Dude, that resist. Oh my god, that resist. I think if he didn't resist, we would have won. This one shots everybody. Oh my god, it was so close. Wait, our. Yeah, our. Christina's on. On Vampire, so we should win. But yeah. <laughs> I think we would have lost if the Charla actually used skill 3. Because that would have done multiple damage. Okay, but we still got the win. Now, these defenses are the defenses where Christina shines. Because Halfus eats up. I mean, sorry, because Christina eats up Halfus's. Okay, there's a derp, another derp, double derp, a violent one. Okay, violent is the reason why. Um, the reason why you go violent is so that even if he derps, he could use skill too. But you can't do anything if he derps twice, right? Oh my god, okay, we eat up half assist if we get the damn defense break. Can we eat everybody else up though? I mean, it's a lot easier to get um, to deal with half assist now due to the fact we have Delphoi. Right? Look at that. Delphoi Oblivion. It's okay. It's two turn of Oblivion now. We could deal with this. We already won. Can we strip? Nope. Because of the Oblivion, he doesn't take HP. Love the Delphoi buff. The Delphoi buff is insane. These defenses. Eat it up. Okay, this will be the last one. And we'll call it a day because we did really, really well. <gasps> the strip. Okay, nice. We resist. Nice. It's all about the Delphoi guys. Okay. I want to do this because he could survive due to his passive. And we should kill the Juno here with the Christina because she doesn't glance. Boom. Okay, easy, yeah. Okay, that was very, very easy. Oh, he survived. Okay, hope you guys learned from that. This is how you make a second turn team without a Leo. And there are, obviously there are certain defenses you go into, but that's the same with the Leo second turn offense anyways. So you just have to know which defenses to hit. Uh, but that was it guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if there's anything else that you guys want to see from Sonos War, please put a comment below. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe because that really helps me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.